Hello and welcome to another Adobe Illustrator video tutorial where we're going to use Blend and Distort to make this little object. So find yourself uh, a little cliche. Uh, I drew a heart, but you don't have to do heart. You can do any shape you want and probably want to match the cliche that goes with it. So I got Love Conquers All. I've used a blend to do uh, the text in the back. And then I also got a layer that has a very small stroke on it um, and a color that's just slightly off. You don't necessarily have to do that. I just wanted the letters to have a real clean edge. Here we go. I'm gonna move over to the second artboard. I'm gonna grab my eraser tool and I'm gonna make two little lines. Then what I'm going to do, is, uh, three different fonts. So I'm gonna drag love over here and conquers over here and all over here. I got them set as 100, and I use narrow, bold, italic. You obviously choose your own fonts. And then I'm going to go right-click, Arrange, and Send to Back. And right-click, Arrange, and Send to Back. And be very aware that when you, if you move these things, uh, they are not grouped after you use the eraser tool. So you want to keep them in the same spot. I'm going to highlight over the two objects here. And I'm going to go Object, Envelope, Distort, and Make with Top Object. I'm going to do the same thing for that. And Envelope, Distort, Make with Top Object. And, oops, Control Z. And I'm going to grab these two, an Object, Envelope, Distort, Make with Top Object. Then I'm going to group them, Control G. And I'm just going to show you something here that when you go to change the color, it won't change the color. So now what we're going to do is we're going to grab the whole thing and we're going to go object and expand. And we're going to say, okay. And now it allows us to take the color. And what I want to do is I'm going to move zoom out again and I'm going to grab this and I'm going to copy it two times, so control C and control V and control V. Uh, we're going to turn one of them to black. At least that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to hold the shift key while I make it quite a bit smaller. I'm going to put it in the middle. I'm going to right click, arrange, and send back. And I'm going to go Object and Blend, Make, and then I'm going to go to Object, Blend, and Blend Options. I chose Specified Steps, and I did 100 steps. You could also say in uh, Distance as well. It's worth playing with that. So this is the Blend object. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this guy, and I'm going to give it probably a gradient. Gradients, we went to my swatches library, uh, gradients, and then uh, I'll probably try simple radio. And then I'll choose one of these, nice and bright. Uh, you'll notice it does it each for each individual one. Um, and then I'm gonna go with my gradient tool right over here. And I'm probably gonna take a pink and drag that on top of here. Then I go OK, and then I actually put a bit of an orange stroke on it. Uh, I made it, I think I made it two point, and I made it so that it has a bit of a shape to it. Can't even see it right now here, but if I go a line center and a line center, there you have your finished version. Thanks for watching.